Hello, hello, Crafty Mantis here, and welcome back to another episode on the World of Solitude server. So, I might have gone a little crazy with the building. Just, just a little. Just, just a smidge. <laughs> so, I, um, I got to work, and I knew that I had to do a lot of digging and, and stuff like that, and so, I just started going at it and I've already almost finished the the bottom half of this part of the towers um I've got the the wood part of the stairwell up there's still so much you know stuff that needs to go into that there's a lot of you know detail and stuff within this area um but first I want to start down here um again there's still a lot of details that need to go in it like there's going to be like an archway here uh, not, this will, this is probably going to be like a tack room over here. A, a, not, not like a tack as in like hit somebody, but a tack as in for like horses and stuff like that. Um, this right here, this is kind of like the stables. Ooh, and we got an, we got some eggs. So let's pick those up. Eggs are always good. So I've gathered up some chickens. I've got some of the pigs. I've got cows. This one is going to be for horses. Uh, I finally got some saddles, so I can actually um, bring some horses over here. I didn't put sheep because the sheep are on the other side of the wall there. And then we've got llamas. So I've got the gray llamas, I've got the cream llamas, and I've got the brown llamas. Um, I think the only one I'm missing is the white llamas, I think. Um, so those are going to end up going in there. So, um, still need to add stuff in here to, to make it look pretty, but that is going to be for later. So let's go ahead and come over here and we'll come up uh, this stairwell here. Um, so like I said, there's going to be a lot more details and stuff to this area, but, uh, for the most part, this is done. I still need to add the archway over the door here, but we've got the, um, the por 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 it would it be a porculus, I think. Um, <laughs> But that, you know, that comes down, and then, so there's going to be an archway that goes over it to, you know, partially hide and stuff. we got all these, you know, wonderful windows and then arches on the top, um, just to add a lot, you know, a lot of detail. Um, this right here, this is going to be the guard room, and so, you know, they would be able to flip the lever and then drop this down. And then this comes up, and it comes into this huge area. Not 100% sure what I want to do with this. Um... This is the this is the floor that I'm not yeah definitely not too sure about. We've got nice views out the windows, which is fantastic. And then if we come over here, and then of course that that hole is not going to remain there. If we come here, we can actually look down and we can see our little sheep herder's house, which is awesome. Um, so and then also we need to figure out how to get from there from here to up there. Um, I might do like a spiral staircase or something up into each of the towers. Um, and then there is another layer in between those two and this is going to be kind of like my work area so we've got the portal right there um, I need to get some more obsidian so I can actually finish that portal off um, there's a little room over here which doesn't have a purpose yet this is actually where the stairs are that go up and then you know the ones that are over there that go up as well um, so that is you know that was there by kind of not like necessity and then over here this is the storage room there's still you know still a lot of stuff that I need to add to it especially especially chests and then this is going to be an enchanting area um, I don't have enough leather and stuff in order to make bookcases so that will be for a, a later time as soon as I get all the resources for that but I'm already finding that you know I have <laughs> I have so much cobblestone um, so definitely not going to run out of that. And then I've been mining in the um, the nether as well. So that is that area done. So like I said, definitely a lot of details that still need to go into this area. And then if we come up here, you can get a better sense. So there's going to be a tower here and there's going to be a tower there. Um, both of them, you know, going up. And then there's going to be a bridge that goes in between them. And then there's going to be another tower that goes into that area there. Um, and then I've been I've been growing my spruce trees up here because I don't have to worry about the puzzle, um, ex, you know, expanding out because it's all stone up here, which is fantastic. And then the other thing that I'm running into is, of course, snow, lots and lots of snow. 
Um, so definitely going to have to figure out a way to light everything up so not everything is going to be snow covered like the rest of the area around it. Um, oh, and then as you can see, I do, I do have some diamond stuff. I've been doing a lot of mining and uh, my, my first half stack of diamonds, um, went to creating a helmet, a pick, and the rest of it went into spiral shop. It's like, ooh, there's a bookstore. Spend, spend, spend. <laughs> so I spent, I spent a lot of diamonds over at, um, over there in order to get at least those two set up. And, and then I ended up setting up the, um, setting up a AFK Fisher here. Uh, definitely not very convenient because you know we were running into everything. So I'm gonna have to figure something out. I might want to like move this door over one or something along those lines. Um, it'll all change once this turns into the actual um, sheep herder's house. So once I get all this stuff taken out and put into the actual workroom, then this this will end up changing. Um, and then lots of books. So that's how I ended up getting um, the stuff on like the diamond axe, the the silk touch, and then the boots. So the only thing I'm missing on all of those are mending. Um, so say hi to C. Hi C. Um, so yeah, so that is the progress so far. So I am going to get back to work, and then um, once I have some more progress, then I will bring you guys back. All right, we have more progress. We have the bridge right here. Kind of get you know an idea of some of the details. So we got the support beams that are over here. These ones are just simple ones. The spruce logs with the um, I don't know what you would call those buttresses maybe um but yeah so it goes up if we come up here so we got this detailing that goes along the bottom of it and then some of you will recognize oh we got ooh, experience can't let that go to waste um you'll recognize this as a variation of what i had used for the bridges in my diamond society build um really liked these and i thought they would add a nice little detail to the bridge so with this main part we've got four um, four support beams that go up and the cobblestone wall detailing goes all the way around and then on this main part here there's actually two pieces that come down to help support the weight of the um, of the little platform here so we've got lots you know lots of support and stuff in there to you know kind of hold hold this whole thing up um, let's go ahead and go through here so I can show you guys in here um, we have horses and donkeys at least I think they're donkeys donkeys or mules I think it's the donkeys that are the ones you find in the wild and mules are the ones that you breed up yeah so we have those so those were nice additions and then let us head I'm I want to head all the way up I want to save the center for last so if we come all the way up to the top here, I have the top section all finished. Um, so we've got the different spikes and stuff, and they are made out of um, the chiseled stone, the cobblestone, and the iron bars. I do have slabs and stairs up here, so it makes it the wall around here is does not have any spawnable spaces, which is which is good because we don't want things spawning up here. Um, so that'll solve some of the problem of any kind of lighting or anything like that up here. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with the lighting until I actually get the the towers in place. So let's go ahead and head down. Um, oh, yep, this little guy. <laughs> So I'll show you guys the um, the gate here. So in the last clip, it was just the the portcullis, and then now we have the the archway that goes over it. So definitely really happy with the way that turned out. And then this guy, um, I can't remember what I had named him. Hold on. So he is Harold Copperbottom. Now, unfortunately, he decided to fall asleep while on duty. And so the wizard of the castle turned him into a llama. So he is being punished and is now a llama guard. <laughs> so that, that is that is the story behind Harold Copperbottom. 
And then the last thing that I have to show you guys is down here. So let's go ahead and close these guys up. So I found this. So this is a nice little welcome package from Race Crafter. He got us, there. we got two stacks of arrows, a mending bow, an entire stack of the dried kelp block. That is going to help out a lot, especially with fuel. Bone meal, two stacks of cooked cod, and an unbreaking three mending lore tour. The apparently I can't speak. Lore two fishing rod. So definitely, thank you so much, Race Crafter, for that wonderful gift. Definitely greatly appreciated. That will definitely come in handy. Now, in this one, I added a door. And originally this was an empty room, but I have turned it into a small little, um, oh, it looks like I might have lost some, but a small little sugarcane farm um, to kind of get enough sugarcane so that I can actually make a bigger farm. So that's what that is there. And then we've just got normal, you know, we've got stuff to get us through. Oh, and this. I, I want to save that very last thing for um, that over there for, for very last to show you. But we now have an access point down here in order to get to the sheep herders area. And so there's uh, there's no more hole in the wall up there. We actually come down through here. And then we can come back up here. Ta-da! Now, if we come over here, this is what I wanted to show you guys. I am so super happy with the way that this came out. Got all of the chests in. And then you walk down here. You have your enchanting area, a little brewing stand, the ender chest, and then another one. That's gonna, uh, I'm gonna put like the enchanting, you know, enchanting equipment over there. So, like any extra blank books, some lapis, and stuff like that. So, and then this is, you know, this is a level 30 enchanting table. So, we've got the, the dark oak trap doors that are covering the top. And I have put those on, and I'm like, you know, that needs something. I wonder what would happen if I put these columns in. And so I put the columns in and I'm looking at it. I'm like, that, that needs a loft. So on the sides here, I built up the the spruce logs. Put, you know, put a railing up here. We've got the stairs on both sides that come up here. And so we've got a bed and this this is Peaches. So she's she's guarding my bed. And then up on top, we have the uh, the stairs with the dark oak trap doors to add a little bit of detail up here. So really happy with the way that this came out. This feels this feels inviting. I want to live here. <laughs> so it's like, don't mind me. I'm you know if I don't go on any of the servers, I'm it's because I am stuck here. And you know I'm 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 just in, enjoying myself in this in this room. <laughs> so and then uh, the other the other idea that I had is to actually instead of using the um the chests use the bookcases and actually turn this into like a library and then this column could go really really tall and you have like different layers and stuff in the center um so definitely yeah definitely inspiring um so this has led to a lot of other different ideas for for other areas as well so really happy that that i did this and was kind of playing around with it but yeah so that, that has been the adventure today. Um, we've got presents uh, from members on the server. We've got a finished storage room with an enchanting area and a brewing area and a you know area to sleep. We've got the um, access to the sheep herders. We've got, you know, so much stuff done this episode. So I am definitely so, so happy with everything. And I hope you guys have liked it too. If you have, definitely hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. It definitely helps out the channel. And I always like seeing new faces in my little corner of YouTube. And then if you want to be notified as to when I put out additional content, then definitely hit that notification bell. But for now, I'm going to call it, and I will see you guys in the next episode.